What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Orange 22 Fishing. Today we are out on a public pond here in the state of Delaware. We have a really cool challenge today. We're also out here with Grippin' and Rippin' Fishing. We're going to be doing some kayaking together today. He's going to be doing a little bit of a challenge of his own. So go check out his channel and watch his video for today's outing because I'm sure it's going to be really cool. But uh, let's get out on the water. I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing today. All right, folks, we have made it out on the water this morning. And let me tell you what, we got some really strange weather going on right now. We had a tropical storm off the coast that has now turned into a hurricane, but uh, it's causing for some really weird weather. We got sunny skies and it's pouring rain right now, but uh, hopefully it's just a passing cloud and doesn't last long. But let me grab a little box out of the back here. And I'm gonna show you exactly what our challenge is for the day. We have a pretty good one. I only have limited time, so it really is gonna be a challenge. But let's get into it here. I have five Rapala Rip and Wrap ultralight crankbaits, and we are going to catch a fish on all five colors today. So as soon as I get one on this Helsinki Shad color right here, we are going to switch over to another color. We have a uh, Fire Tiger down here, as you can see, got a couple of those. We have a natural perch right there. We have the shad color that I have tied on. We have, if I can get it out of here, a little blue and silver. And last but not least, we have the gold. So we're gonna try to catch one fish or more on all five colors of these lipless crankbaits. You guys really liked it when I did the other Rapala fishing challenge with the original floating minnow that they make. And uh, today we're doing the Rapala rip and wrap. So we're gonna try to knock this thing out in a little bit under an hour and 20 minutes because we got out here early this morning, but I have to get to work by noon. So uh, yeah, time is an issue, but we're gonna make the best of it. Let's see if we can knock this first fish out super early. That'd be nice to get one like on the first couple of casts and just get an early jump start on this challenge. Got a beautiful, beautiful rainbow way over there. It's probably like a full rainbow. I can't see the ending over there because of the trees, but uh, some really cool weather out here. Glad we could get out here with Grippin' and Rippin' fishing too. He's over in his kayak way down there filming a swim bait video, so that's pretty cool. As I said in the intro, please go check out his channel. He's got some great content, fellow Delaware YouTuber. But well, we're gonna have to find somewhere where the grass is not this thick because we are getting hung up in the grass on both of our casts here. So that is a bit of an issue for sure. I know we're gonna catch fish if I can just find some open water out here, but that could be the biggest challenge of all today. That is progress right there. Our first cast without any scum on the end of the line. So I'm legit just gonna camp out here until I catch a fish because I can actually cast here. We're gonna get something here, guys. I can feel it. Finally found an area without a bunch of grass and uh, might've been a bite right there, honestly. We're gonna get something though. There's a bite and we got a fish. First fish of the day on the rip and let it drop pattern. Here we go, what do we got? Oh, pickerel, nice. Knocking out our first lure of the day. Took us long enough, sweet. Nice little pickerel out here in the middle. And he got off, are we counting that? 
Let me know down below, guys, if we're counting that one. I think I could have got him up in here, but I was just playing him out. I don't know. I think we got to get one in the boat for it to count, unfortunately. So technically, I guess we're not on the board, but I thought that fish had the thing choked and I didn't want him to break my line. So just kind of was easing him up, but we should be able to knock out another one soon. You know what, guys, on second thought, since we are pressed for time, I'm going to give myself a little bit of an exemption. I hooked the fish. I had him up here, which is what I wanted to do. We saw that this color lure will succeed. I'm just the one who botched it at the side there. So because we are pressed for time today, I'm going to count that as a catch on here, even though I normally would not. But we will consider this one knocked out right here. So we got one down, four to go. And uh, I say next we bring out what I think will be the hardest one to catch it on today is uh, this blue and silver. I never really have too much luck with this color Rapala. So we'll try to knock the hard one out and see if we can make it two out of five that we have done. Let's do a quick time check. We got 8.54 on the clock. I have to be off the water at 10. So, uh, you know, got one knocked out not in too bad of shape and if we do catch one on every other color with time to spare i will tie back on that other color just so uh the challenge feels a little bit more legit if we can get one on that at the end but for now let's try to knock one out on the blue and silver gonna use that same ripping technique they seem to like that in this pond from my previous experience here when you rip it up that rattle really attracts the fish and then letting it drop Looks like a dying minnow, so most of the times they will hit it on the drop because that's when the bait is most vulnerable. I guess I should probably fill you guys in on the kinds of fish that are in this pond that we have a chance of catching today. Obviously we have the pickerel, we got bass, we got bluegill, we got a lot of yellow perch, white perch, Catfish, I've caught catfish on lures in here before. And uh, crappie as well. So we've got a wide variety of stuff that should be ready to eat this morning. But it's been a challenge so far, as I thought it would be with the weather. We're just going to see how many of those species we can yank out of here today. Man, I knew this blue and silver color was going to be tough, but this is really... Honestly, more of a challenge than I thought it would be in general. Thought I could knock this out pretty easily today, but the fish are testing me once again. Making me work for it today. Whew, come on, man. I just need to fool one fish on this thing. Doesn't even matter what kind. I will take a two-inch bluegill at this point. Come on, Arapala. There we go. Finally got one on here. All right. He's running right towards me. Okay, little fight in him. Bluegill. Hey, I was just saying, man, I will take whatever I can get. And I got a big, beautiful, healthy male bluegill right there. That's a slab, guys. Absolute slab. This guy might have saved the day right there. Beautiful bluegill. Sweet. Look at the blue chin on him right there. The orange right here. The dark coloration up there. That is just a beautiful fish. Wow. Sweet. There he goes. That knocks out two of the liplesses we need. Let's get another time check real quick. By the way, the rain has started again, if you couldn't notice. That's a clutch catch right there. That's probably the most excited I've been in a while to catch a bluegill. Let's see what we got here. 918, so it took us a while to catch that. But we got 42 minutes. And we're gonna try and catch something on these three other colors. Slowly but surely, guys, it's gonna come down to the wire. It has been that tough just to get any kind of a bite out here.
Next up, let's go with a color I think we will knock out fairly quickly. We got a lot of perch in this pond, so the fire tiger should stand out and do pretty well, I would think. Kind of matches the hatch a little bit more than the lures we were throwing a minute ago. Definitely a bit of a bold color in the clear water, but I've caught a lot of perch out of here, and the perch I've caught have been very, very vibrant. So this uh, color pattern right here should be very similar to what is in here. If we can knock this one out within like five minutes, I'll be feeling really confident that we can actually complete this challenge. But right now, I honestly have no idea if we're gonna be able to do it, but we're gonna try our hardest. About 40 minutes left. Got three baits to do. Come on, fire tiger. There's a bite. Come on, come back for it. Come back for it. You know you want to. Ah, felt like a perch. Come on. Ooh, big hit right there. We need this fish, guys. What the heck he got off? Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Well, we needed that fish. But he pulled me into a bunch of algae right there and got off. But, ah, uh, that is a tough one to lose. We really needed him. Hopefully we can get redemption real quick. He bit hard enough, I thought we had him, but these fish are escape artists, let me tell you. I'm telling you guys we need one in like the next two or three casts, because if we don't get one very soon, our chances of finishing this challenge are slim to none. Fish. Oh no, he came off, dude. No, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He's on there. What the heck? That was so weird. Third species of the day. I need to keep him hooked. Get in the boat, baby. Let's go. Got ourselves a bass. That was so weird. I thought he came off. But we are in business, boys and girls. We are in business. Fire Tiger comes through. A little ultralight fishing challenge has been tough, but we have a chance at it now. Let's get this thing taken off and put on a new one real quick. I think I'm gonna go with the gold color next and then we'll try to finish up with the natural perch. But hey, three species, three different baits, 15 to 20 minutes left now. And it's certainly coming down to the wire. Here is a close look at the gold minnow we're gonna be using. Again, same exact bait, just a different color. Let's get it chucked out there and complete this challenge, hopefully with number four out of five. Got a fish, guys. Got a fish, we have a chance now. Oh, it came off. Dang it. Seemed good, whatever it was too. Oh man, that sucks. That would have given us like five minutes to fish with that last bait that we needed. That's a tough one right there, guys. Well, you guys can see it right there. Phone says 10 o'clock. I'm gonna have to get on out of here and get to work, but uh, today was definitely a struggle. It was not my finest performance by any means. But we did have tough conditions out here. The fish really were just not biting and I'm just happy I got three of them, to be honest. I thought when we came out here, we were gonna be able to complete this challenge fairly easily because I've had a lot of success on these exact baits here in the past, but today they were just not having it. But uh, we were able to get one on three different colors today. We got the blue, silver, and red tail knocked out. We got the fire tiger. I think this was the quickest one we were able to complete catching the bass on the fire tiger. And of course, at the beginning, 
we got kind of like half a catch I would say with that pickerel on the shad colored bait right there but uh man just a tough day that's just how fishing goes sometimes and that's why I'm posting this video just to show you guys that I do not come out here and slay it every time sometimes it is a grind and is a struggle and uh I just thought I'd post this video to show you guys that because you know it was tough out here man so Hope you guys, despite our lack of success, did enjoy the video. I did have a good time out here this morning, despite our lack of success. It's always fun just being out here on the water, especially collabing with fellow Delaware YouTubers. We were out here with gripping and ripping today. He's way down there casting away in his kayak. As I said in the intro, please go check out his channel. Worth your time, worth watching. He has great content on there, especially if you're local. You get to see all the places that you fish on our channels here in Delaware. So. Please go check him out. I'll leave his channel linked down in the description. But uh, yeah, guys, get your hands on some Rapala Rip and Wraps. We did not have the most success today, but they are killer lures. And most of the time, they will absolutely slay it on multi-species fishing. So thanks again for watching, guys. Please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.